Oh, I'm so fucking tired. We were up all night chasing this tour. Oh, yeah, you were a part of that? I heard about this. Yeah, this one chick, she would just not give up. I've never seen anyone with so much fucking energy. It took a couple minutes to snuff everyone else, and fucking five hours to hunt her ass down. Jesus. Sometimes you gotta earn your keep, right? Yeah, I guess. We were about to give up when she started shooting at us. It's stupid. She could have got away. I had two other guys keep her busy. Took out my rifle. Line up a little head in the crosshairs. Pow. There's that. Damn. Well, maybe you should have kept it. You know, ain't no one of us. No, no way. That girl, she'd kill us all in a sleep. Hello, friends. We are back. Last of Us. Part 1. Remake. Remaster. Part 2. Of 9. I don't fucking know, man. Playing the game. Oh, shit. There's a uh, large gap in between. my recordings because my video pretty much got fucked up so I apologize what you did miss basically was the rest of Bill's village uh, which we did okay in died a few times and then the uh, initial ambush in Pittsburgh so we made it through all that, and now we are trying to make it through this zone right here. And you know, to be completely honest with you, if you're doing like a pacifist run, you can really run through this whole fucking area. I don't think there's any like mandatory fights that you have to get into in this place to get through it. Um, but there is a lot of shit, and it's worth clearing it out. I should do a run like that. I should just do a straight up run through without trying like what a real person would do, which is like run the fuck away and try and get through everything without getting into any fights. I wonder if it could be done. Not maybe, maybe not like a pacifist run because obviously there are, there are parts in this game where like you're forced to fight like when Joel's hanging upside down. Uh, you know, or even when, when one of your partners gets um, tagged by an enemy, they end up getting too much damage and you lose. There are a shit ton of people around here, so just be aware of that.
Yep, this quarantine zones folks had enough. And they rope they they rose up, took it over from the uh, whoever these this police force is. I guess they were formed after the fall of the the nation. Um basically a uh, a coup if I'm not mistaken. Took out the American government, replaced it. Now the Fireflies like their original mission statement was to return government, right? So like get the branches of government back. Uh, so you can say whether or not they're the bad or good guys. That's completely up to you. However, these folks in this zone right here, they don't give a fuck. They just want to survive. So, and you know, in, in this world, even Joel said it, you, sometimes you just got to do it by unscrupulous means. In the beginning of the ambush, when he, uh, when we got into Pittsburgh, there was a gentleman pre pretending he was hurt, and then Joe, Joel, floored it and uh, basically ran him over, uh, and then a fight ensued after they crashed their truck. You know, Ellie's like, "Hey, how'd you know that was an ambush?" And he said, "Cause I've been on both sides," implicating Joel in some pretty nasty stuff just to survive, setting up fake an or setting up, you know ambushes for people that are just passing through and then doing whatever they need to do to to get those supplies so it's a wacky wild world all right there's a lot of people in here Bossman says we're getting big enough to expand. New head honcho. Same bullshit. Oh, we're fucked. Well, I don't know. Now that we have enough people watching all the action, we can set up a large. By those bookshelves. One guy, man. One fucking guy had to see us. God damn it. Oh, these things work really well. If you got enough shivs and you got a group of enemies, just throw one of these and you can just go start shiving all of them takes out groups pretty quick then obviously you got your Molotovs all right well, we got them all riled up like fucking hornets let's go in this way
fuck, fuck. Son of a bitch is gonna pay. Oh God. God. Ah, shit. You got another one. Damn right Keep I looking. did. Let me get you too. Ah, shit. There's one down there. I'm going to find you. You're lucky, son. You're lucky. Your buddy was over there. You see him? Not over here! You kid, asshole! Ah, shit! Yeah! Oh. Here. Uh. 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 
asshole! Let him get away. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucker. Ah, shit! Oh, I'm here. I am the one who knocks on your fucking head. He's not over here. Come on in here. Come on in. Stay a while. Where are you, you motherfucker? Here. 
here. You see him? He's not over here! I was too damn close. To the edge of the universe and back. Endure and survive. Excuse me. Savage Starlight. That comic I've been reading? That's what the hero says after a big battle. <laughs> Endure and survive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's right. One man army, These baby. Books. I wish I had more room in my backpack. Oh, so you're a reader, huh? Well, when I'm not running away from hunters and infected. Yeah, I read all the time. <sighs> That's not against fire code. Okay, we need to lighten them up. Ready? It doesn't matter how much you push the envelope, it'll still be stationary. 
What is that? It's a joke book. No pun intended. Volume two by Will Livingston. <sighs> Let's keep going. Bakers trade bread recipes on a need to know basis. Need. I get it. A moon rock tastes better than an earthly rock because it's meatier. <laughs> oh man, that made me hungry. A backwards poet writes in verse. Do you even get that? Of course not. I used to be addicted to soap, but I'm clean now. <laughs> all right, I've actually never heard that one. Some of these okay, aren't bad. I'm all joked out. Make sure you get all those and listen to all of them because they're all part of the collectibles. Every one of her little joke sessions. So as you can see, me trying to do it stealthily didn't work out for anybody. Got whacked upside the head with a plank of wood. What was this place used for? They call it processing. It's where they picked out who'd go in and who'd stay out. Sometimes only half the family would be allowed to go through. What would happen then? What do you think? And uh, you know, then I went in a guns a blazing. And fucked them all up. Stealth is always the obvious option. Sometimes I just ain't got the patience, especially after I almost make it through a whole section and then get yoinked and then I get upset and then it's time to go into beast mode Joel uh, but the whole point if you want to get through this thing without really doing anything in here there should be a set of stairs somewhere back here that gets you to where you need to go maybe it's on the other side I'm just looking around make sure I didn't forget anything too important. I could have swore there was a comic book in here somewhere. You know like Assassin's Creed has like the sense where you, you know, click the button and you see everything that's highlighted for you to get. I'm glad they don't have that in this game. Because then it would just be like, you clicking buttons and run into a spot, and clicking buttons run into a spot, and that gets really fucking boring after a while. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. We've already came through this way. Check upstairs one more time. did confirm there is a chapter select so if you are if you miss something and you want to go back and get it before you play on you can go right back to that chapter what I haven't tested yet is if you have to actually finish the chapter to keep the collectible that I don't know I definitely want those parts doing certain actions in this game by the way will get you points and then you can go into the extras piece and uh, unlock char character models and concept art and all kinds of nifty stuff like that. Does not look like there's anything else here. 
<sighs> you ever watch the uh you ever watch the the whitest kids you know it was a um it was a a variety sketch show um with a dude named uh there well there's a bunch of them but anyways one one of the guys he, he unfortunately passed away from like brain cancer or, or head trauma or something anyways, it's fucking hilarious right I, I i found it about what six or seven months ago um there's five seasons of it it was on the independent channel it was late night independent late night the whitest kids you know highly recommend fucking hilarious uh, but the reason I bring that up is I just looked at the news and on Fox News, there's a story that says Tupelo, Mississippi pilot threatening to crash plane into Walmart. <laughs> okay. It's not funny. It's not funny. Right. And I don't know when they say pilot, I don't know if they mean like single engine pilot or passenger, uh, airline. Cause that would be fucking horrendous. Um, but there's a, there's a skit on that show where the guy finds out like as he's doing his helicopter weather reporting uh that his wife is cheating on him and he's talking with the news desk uh you know all like oh you bitch i can't you know and then he calls her and she's lying and all that stuff and then of course the uh last scene is uh of well not the last scene but basically it, he just like reports as he brings the, the the helicopter down on her car and uh yeah that's what that news story reminded me of uh i did look into it just a little bit more and it is a single prop engine and it seems to be uh <laughs> it's it seems to be circling around a specific walmart in mississippi uh threatening to crash into it so, there you go. <clears throat> All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Anyways, this is where you're supposed to be making it to. As you can see, you could you could you could make it through there pretty simply, just running through the center and out the back. Uh, you might get into one or two fights along the way, but it's it's a pretty open area, a lot of stuff to hide hide behind. Man, you gotta be crazy to string up soldiers. Can't get people desperate enough; they'll do just about anything. And the people that rose up, they're the ones we've been fighting here. That'd be my bet. Yep, they didn't like that too much. Supplies, motherfucker. That'll never get old. That will never get old. Old Doge. Dexter was a good guy. <laughs> Supplements. I've been preaching this whole game to save your stuff, but I am getting taken out entirely too quickly. And uh, we're going with some maximum health. Like two, two grabs and a hit and I'm fucking dead. Can't do it, man. Can't do it. Bullshit.
I think they saw us. <sighs> There's our bridge. We're a little closer. I think. Let's keep at it. Come on. <laughs> 